How are you feeling? Got rigs again, and somebody brought up a great question of can you import graphics? Like, can I take a photo of something and put that into a Nintendo game? And the answer is yes, you can, kind of. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I want to use this picture. This is my profile. Well, that awesome shirt there, huh? Jingo Snell, thanks for helping out. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going. I'll show you what's going on here. So here's Little Nemo, the Dream Master, one of my favorites of all time. Uh, the graphics are nice and laid out. Look at that. So easy to kind of manipulate and see what's going on there. The very bottom are the dialogue boxes. And I want to change these pictures into maybe two different pictures. Here's Little Nemo. Here's Flip at the beginning of the game. Here's how you do this. Um, see how big they are. So the, you know they're 8 by 8 pixel squares, and there's 4 across, 4 down. So you figure uh, 32 pixels wide, 32 pixels uh, tall. Got to keep that in mind. So find the picture you want to use. This one, it's already squared off. I'm going to... Uh, let's brighten it up a little bit, because again, Nintendo games only have three colors, and then the background uh, transparency graphic. So I'll just use this a little bit, brighten it up. This, you know what, this photo actually may not work very well, just because there's so much color and definition. Um, even if you put it on black and white, it probably still won't do a whole lot of good, but for the sake of this uh, thing, we'll just go ahead and use this anyway. So there you go. A little bit of that. If you need some extra help, you can always go to Filter, Artistic. I'm using Adobe uh, Photoshop CS2 because it's free and I'm cheap. So if you're wondering what I'm using, uh, this is CS2. Search for it. You can find it for free. Uh, oh, boy. That's crazy. Um, just some of these a little bit. It's not going to be perfect again, like I said, but... Yeah. You know what? We'll just stick with that, just for the sake of the demonstration. So, good to go there. We know that it's 32 by 32. So go to image size, pixels, 32 pixels. Makes sense to me, right? So it drops it down super tiny, can zoom in. Yes, <laughs> we'll see how it goes anyway. Uh, save this as a bitmap. Save as bitmap, whatever you want to call it. Uh, untitled one is perfect. Save over that one. Cool. Uh, let's add another one. This one, I might have better luck with. Here's my avatar, or my uh, me, as you will. Same thing. Got to brighten it up a little bit. You don't have to brighten it up, but... Um, oh, let's do the uh, the actual graphic here. Da -da -da. I was going to brighten it up a little bit. Mm, sure. Call it that. Same thing as before. 32 by 32. And again, this won't be perfect by any means, but I just want to show you how you can do this. So, save that as another bitmap. Bitmap 2. Perfect. Alright, we have two bitmaps. We're good to go here. Let's go back to our Tile Layer Pro. And then there's Edit, Import Bitmap. It's exactly what it's for. You go down here. Import the bitmap. Look at that. Now you can drag this around all you want. But as soon as you drag it and then click somewhere else, it'll set its place. So I'm going to use this for Nemo. And then once I click somewhere else, you'll see what it does graphically speaking. I wish it looked as good as that. Now it looks like that. That's not terrible. You can kind of tell. You remember what it used to be. So maybe you could go in here and, um, you know, brighten it up a little bit more, add a little bit more detail, give myself a face in a way. And, and you can do that on your own time. Uh, let's import the other one see what this one looks like. Import bitmap. Here's my me. And I'm going to put this right here. Cross your fingers, hope for the best. Uh, it's still not perfect. But again, you'll have to go in and maybe set the colors, set the boundaries, set what's going on here. You can go back in and kind of clean it up a little bit for yourself. Another way, you could, another thing you can do, I didn't mention this before, is you can also copy and paste using the right click, drag as much platform as you want. Maybe I want to have these two. Control C, Control V. There you go. I'm going to put these guys over here too, just so I can show you what this is all about. There you go. And you can still move this around as much as you want. So as soon as you click anywhere else, like right here, now they're locked into place. And Control Z does not undo it. There might be an undo up here. That's um, why you always keep uh, saving along the way. So let's see what this looks like. File, save as. I don't want to delete over the old one. And we'll just call this little Nemo test. All right. Wish me luck. Open ROM. Little Nemo test. 
Let's go straight into the game here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh. All right, look at the bottom here. Here we go. All right, so... Oh, and I forgot to change the other graphic of him moving his mouth, but you kind of get the idea. So you can import graphics, just remember how many pixels wide, and then remember uh, to go back in and change the color. So if I say, okay, no, now I want to make that one color black for the background, I can give myself a face, give myself a different color shirt, and you can we can do that later too. Um, another thing I want to show you really quick too while we were here is if this isn't the case, like if graphics aren't this nicely laid out, open, let's say, um, well, what do we got here? Like Super Mario Brothers. We've used that before as an example. Now, they're not... You know, the things aren't where they should be. Like, I wish they were as nicely laid out as the graphics over here. But you can open this up. I usually have, like, a blank one just that you can use. And then, if you know where things go, just kind of drag it and drop it. So you know that's the mushroom. So you can import it, but you can't import it and then uh, change things and change things around because once it's locked into place, you can't just move it from there and have the old thing come back there. So pop it over there, open up the thing you want to use. Maybe a you know something that you can just use as a test thing. They have to drag it over in place and make that happen for yourself. So to answer the question, yes, you can import graphics. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but it is doable, and maybe you can make some use out of it. I actually don't use this much, but eh, it, it is an option, and I at least wanted to share that with you. Thanks for watching.